All right, Michelle, what are we doing today? Carburetor. Carburetor what? In the power washer. What kind of power washer? Carancher. <laughs> A what? Carancher. A carancher? <laughs> yep. Okay, and what kind of motor's in the carancher power washer? 5.0 HP. 5.0 HP. Made by who? Honda? Ah, there it is. Welcome to Everything Elliot, where I give everything a try. And while you're here, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I got sick of monkeying around with the uh, carburetor. So something must be wrong with the carburetor. I don't know if it's got a crack in it or something, but uh, bought a new one. I got it right here. Came nice and bubble wrapped. One of the Chinese ones, but I only bought this at auction. The uh, the what, what brand is it? Carancher. The Carancher. <laughs> got the got the Carancher power washer at auction. Carter. So it doesn't really owe me much, so I'm not gonna put money into it. Well, expensive money. This kit was like 15 bucks from Amazon. I'll put a link below. Uh, it is for the Honda Honda GC 160 motor. Came with a uh, air filter, the pre-filter, a fuel filter, spark plug, some new fuel line, a couple gaskets, one, two, four gaskets for some reason, and a uh, new carburetor. Not much to it. Looks like a carburetor. I don't know why they sent me four gaskets though. In case you screw them up. Only need two, one for this side, one for this side. So first things first, we have to remove the old, uh, the old carburetor. All right, Michelle, come remove the carburetor. What do you mean? I can take a wheel off, that's about it. You can take a wheel off? Well, we don't need to take a wheel off. <laughs> I don't know what a carburetor looks like. It looks like the thing that's on the table. Okay. Remove the carburetor. All you gotta do, let's get this. That one still looks pretty good. Smells like fuel. What do we got here? I have to take the fuel tank off? All right, let's get some sockets out. All right, taking the gas tank off is uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. Three 10 millimeter bolts. That I am not going to be able to get with this. So two bolts on the top and it looks like a nut on the bottom. Yep, that's a nut on the bottom. Looks like Need to pull this hose off. This would be a PCV hose. Put that out of the way. So once your PCV is off, then you gotta do your fuel. All right, you gotta crimp off your fuel line so you don't leak fuel everywhere. So I'm just gonna get a pair of vice grips and do that with that. Got some needle nose vice clips, vice grips here. Just pinch off, pinch off our fuel line. Right, Michelle? Yep. Okay. Michelle approved. Little hose clamp. 
Okay. Now your fuel tank's off. So once your fuel tank's off, you're gonna have, let's see here, two more bolts, which are also 10 millimeter. Where are you going? No, oh, stretching the legs. What do we got hooked up here still? We got the throttle hooked up. So that simply pulls out and there's a little spring and there's another Hose right there. There's your whole assembly out. In theory, you should be able to take these two long bolts out. There's your carburetor. And this assembly just uh, disconnects. The, this is the choke here. That just slides out. All right, now that we're over at the workbench, we're just gonna have the old carburetor here. We've got the new one, we just gotta match everything up. So I see now why they gave me four gaskets, because you need four. Well, the new carburetor doesn't have a drain on the bottom, so we don't need that. I guess what we can do first is we'll detach this hose. I hate these little hose clamps. They're just little, like, springs. Just make, take that hose and just, don't try to force it off, just take it, spin it side to side. Once you got it off, grab the new carburetor, put it right back on where it belongs, and don't forget to put your little clips back in. Got the choke cable, the choke, that right back in the same hole it came out of, the spring here. Take that. Throttle cable and spring. Voila. Old gasket, old gasket. Get all of our new gaskets ready and let's take it back over to the machine all right <clears throat> back at the machine here so the gasket that's on the uh engine block i'm going to leave on there it's still in really good shape i'm not going to monkey with taking that off that gasket also looks really good we're going to leave that on there as well so this heat shield, <clears throat> I didn't really pay attention to the way it came off, so I just had to figure that out. So this heat shield, the uh, big part goes down. That's why that gasket presses against there. So we need a gasket for in between the carburetor and this black bracket there. Be around with a hole in it so it matches up. Then this goes on. It's going to kind of be a tough game of trying to line up all the gaskets and uh, get the bolts in at the same time. But we'll just go nice and slow. And I think that was it for our... Now something goes on here. What goes on here? Help me out, assistant. What am I missing? Does the airbox go directly on there? Aha! So then we've got the air box that goes on there. This is also going to be a round gasket. Not this one apparently. Maybe this doesn't need a gasket. I'm gonna go with no gasket on this one. Because I don't have one that matches. So now playing a balancing game, getting everything perfectly lined up is the hardest part. Just gonna go one piece at a time. Well, I screwed up. I forgot to put the choke back in its little home. So this is all gonna come back apart. All right, so now that I got the choke back into the proper place, we could put this back together. 
both bolts are through. Don't forget about this plate. So before doing this, before putting the bolts in, you got to uh, get your throttle linkage hooked up. It's important that you only hand tighten these to begin with. You want to make sure everything's threading in properly. Don't forget about your uh, your throttle throttle linkage spring, which I just dropped. Oh wait, it's still hooked on. This spring is pretty whooped. All right, now I definitely dropped it. And I still found it again. They're so small, so delicate. I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers to uh, assist in this adventure. Let's tighten these up a little more. Don't forget about all the hoses you disconnected. This PCV one right here, it's your crankcase ventilation. I'm not gonna put the fuel filter in here. Well, let's see if it's the right size hose. Cause if it's the right size hose, then I'll put it in. It's the right size hose, so I guess I'll put it in. These are pretty important. It's, see this arrow that's on here? You wanna make sure that's the way the gas is flowing. So this side is gonna be the tank and this side is gonna be the carburetor. That's pretty important in these fuel filters. Man, I could make a whole video on me just fighting with little clamps. Did I mention that I hate these things? So now that we have the fuel filter in there, take this end, well, We'll get the gas tank back on here. Let's go grab our new air filter, our new spark plug, and uh, we'll put those two in there. Okay, confirmed. Fins go up. And this, I bet, sits in here. Obviously this didn't have it when I bought it, the machine. I assume it just goes like that. Oof. Okay, last, things, last thing is to do your fuel. Don't forget you got those vice grips on there, so make sure you hook up your uh, fuel filter first. That one was kind of loose, so I am gonna move this clip back. Great, it's gravity feeding into the uh, fuel filter. Fantastic. All right, everything's done. Let's go hook this up to some water and see what happens. Well, if you follow along with any of my videos and any video that I've used my pressure washer, you should know that my pressure washer is a uh, unwilling participant in my videos. Hopefully that's solved today. I hate these things. All right, now that the entire thing's soaked with gasoline, let's try again.
seems to be working. Let's pull the tractor out and power wash it. See if it stays running. Because that's the problem. It'll run for a little bit, then it quits. Well, I'd call that a success. Um, I don't think I've ever had that power washer running this long. And to think I've had it for two years and I've been fighting with it. Like I said, I, I, I paid very little for that. I don't remember how much I paid for the power washer. Maybe 10, 15 bucks and it's never run right. I bought a Chinese carburetor kit for another 14. I'll, again, I'll put a link below and you can see it runs great. I'm happy. Well, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a great day.